curious. <gasps> Yay! It's a study! Look at this study! This is excellent. I can study my calculus and my physics. Not fail those tests. Yeah! Oh! Look at the globe. Excellent. I can play, try, spin it, put my finger on it, and that's where I'll live. Here we go. Oh, fail. Here we go. Oh, pretty sure that's not the what place I spun it, but uh, we'll persevere. Hmm. Excellent. Ooh. Most of the clocks in his house weren't working. Is that that grandfather clock? But what is what the hell is this? Backwards numbers it go all the way to thirty one. That is random. Ooh. Ooh ah. Ooh right. Ugh, oh, it's glitching. Perhaps it's acting weird. Diploma granting the title of construction engineer to James T. Blackwood. So this guy is pretty smart, apparently. Several trophies for remarkable accomplishments adorned the room. There's some more. The huge collection of books was impressive. I would have gladly spent days going through them. Hmm. So would I. I love reading. Between video games. Oh, I just hit the microphone. Hopefully that didn't just murder your ears. Let's look. Let's look here. A journey to the sources of the Nile. Two years in last Africa. With numerous illustrations. Yes! My favorite kind of book! Hmm. By the way, I know I'm reading all the captions and stuff, but I don't know if you can actually see them or not. So, if you can, you don't want me to read them, please say so. It'd be nice to know. Feature up. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right when I said that. Oh, okay. Here we go. February 16th, the construction of the railway. Way, railway bridge is almost complete and went quite smoothly. It took longer than I expected, yet I wish it would have lasted longer. I would be very sad to leave South Africa. I've become so attached to it, its culture, its arts, over the past few months that I can't feel as if it was already a part of me. I will surely return someday, soon, hopefully, although I'm afraid there is a great deal of work to be taken care of back in old Britain. Fortunately, I need good friends here who are ecstatic about my new appreciation of their country. They have offered me some wonderful objects as a token of gratitude, which I have already created and got ready to ship, along with many trinkets I bought myself. It looks like I'm about to start a very substantial collection. It's a good thing Catherine agreed to move into our new home, although I fear several renovations will have to be made, even more if I'm intending to start a serious new hobby. It seems I have to get back to work. John Pattinson... Patterson has just told me some natives are causing trouble. A very unfortunate thing, although I'm secretly rejoicing. Hmm. February 12th. Six days after that. See? 12 minus 6 is 6. Ha ha ha. 6 times 2 is 12. Yeah. 12 divided by 2 is 6. Yeah. Okay. The natives won't leave. It's not like they're causing trouble so much as they're unsettling our workers. The only complaint so far has been distraction. They just stand still between the trees staring at us without blinking an eye. I've watched them for a few minutes, and they truly seem like some tenebrous statues. Nice SAT word. At first it was just annoying, but lately it has become downright creepy. They seem to be stalking us. So it's not like they're hindering the construction, but there is a general uneasy feeling as if they're about to jump at us at any moment. I think I'll hire some attraction as a measure of precaution. Oh no. Oh. February 15th, three days after the 12th. Oh, fascinating. I've been looking at these natives. They live in a nearby village and are a very small group, yet they seem to manage quite well. I thought of them as quite, quite an uncivilized tribe, but the movements are calculated and one can perceive a sense of careful organization in their tasks. Oddly enough, they seem to be very brutish and their aspects look awful. 
their aspect looks awful. Got the, that S mixed up. Damn! Although, I couldn't take a good look at their facial features as I followed one of them completely on my own, and it could have been dangerous getting any closer. Also, the village is poor and very rough, but some of the shacks leapt out at me as leapt out as inviting or special. It made me very curious. I will try to come closer tomorrow. Ellipses. February 16th. My second expedition to Philadelphia has been failed by an unexpected problem at the bridge. I'm afraid it's due to a slight mis miscalculation on my part. An indication that I should be focusing more on the task at hand and put my sudden love for all African things aside for a moment. It's my fault, and I accept it. February 20th. They are at it again, lurking beyond the forest. It's amazing how they have changed our perception of the surroundings. At first, we were delighted by the quiet nature of the place. Now, we fear what horrors might be concealed in that dark and forbidding cloak of trees. The tops loom above us, overshadowing the bridge, and strange noises haunt our meals. Even the river! Telling ungodly secrets, we could be, of course, a bit more sensitive towards distractions, but I can't help feeling the area has, in fact, become more sinister. And yet, I'm still looking forward to satisfying my curiosity about the tribe. Ellipses. February 24th. At last, I found something more about the neighboring tribe. This is an incredible finding, and I just can't withhold my excitement. Some elders at the local town happen to know about them. But only through stories I heard. The most surprising thing is that the tribe was soon to be stinked long ago, but according to my vague descriptions the elders think they, that we could be dealing with a legend here everything they ever learned of them was during their childhood when the tribe was stalking the town much in the same way they have been stalking us people used to call them the Halan. as such was the sound of screams heard echoing across the n late heard echoing late in the night They'd come out into the streets and see an evil glitter atop a hill in the distance. Some would say others the cursed spirit of an ancient god. Probably a fire. Just saying, probably a fire, but whatever. Whatever it was, they say the bright light amid those fantastic streams was bone chilling. The macabre scene would suddenly stop just as it begun out of nowhere, never to be seen again in days to come. Intervals between these horrible nights became longer and longer until they soon faded into oblivion. The tribe apparently had retreated back into obscurity until now. They were later known as the the Holomar, as is rather more scientific name, although none of the people I spoke with could possibly remember its origin. I found it extremely surprising that nobody has ever heard about this tribe with the exception of a few townspeople. They must be incredibly rare, ellipses, and judging by the stories passed on from the generations of the town, very old. I missed a couple of ellipses up there. Ugh. Man, I'm running out of breath. February 22nd. I will confess that I have become nearly obsessed with this strange tribe. I see them as the most prized goal of my appreciation towards all South African things, ellipses, a dangerous yet irresistible reward. I feel as if they're... Oh, I hope you didn't hear my cat there, but apparently she wants to commentate in this game as well. So if you hear her, just ignore her. Even though she's cute, so adorable. Oh, yeah. So, where, where was I? A dangerous, yes, irresistible reward. I feel as if they were my discovery. I simply have to study them before leaving. I feel I won't have the chance to ever again. Sorry, my cat's bugging me again. Ever again, it has become an important goal of mine, even more important than finishing the bridge. February 4th. Finally, I've managed to see them. My god, what a disturbing spectacle. When we arrived, they were moving around the village very slowly, without speaking or communicating with each other, each minding his or her own business, completely alien to the rest of the world. They were filthy looking coarse and downright disgusting. I couldn't see any weapons, but they could have stored them somewhere. It was all very strange behavior in the tribe. They must be quite unique. Then, as if they had suddenly all become possessed with some wild spirit, they began shaking spasmodically and screaming like mad. Uh, they probably did ecstasy. Just saying, just saying. Probably did ecstasy. Probably not possessed by spirit, just ecstasy. Some of them dropped their knees and lifted their heads to the sky. Eyes blank, moaning in an indescribable way. Two of them walked away, still in that monotonous and slow manner, and in great contrast to the rest of the scene, into a shack. What? 